What's up YouTube JP here and if there's two things that I love that's RGB and custom shells. So in this video we're looking at something that does both. So without further delay let's dive in. So when it comes to the Nintendo Switch one thing that we haven't seen much of and that's custom docks. Well in this video we take a look at the Air Dock, which is made by Extreme Rate. So I'm just going to put it out there straight away. I'm not a fan of third party docks when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. And that's because they don't usually replicate the hardware itself very well. Well, Extreme Rate have you covered here because you actually take the main circuit board out of the OLED dock or your original Switch dock and you put it in their Air Dock case. And what this actually does is guarantees compatibility because that circuit board was designed and made for the Switch by Nintendo. So what we're actually going to do here is take out the original circuit board from the Nintendo Switch dock along with that USB-C connection. So again, we can guarantee that it fits perfectly into the Nintendo Switch. So we're going to take those parts out and we're going to put them in Extreme Rate's new Air Dock. So this is not only going to make the dock a lot smaller, it's also going to add RGB and you know how I love RGB. So before we get on with the unboxing, here's a quick message from today's sponsor. Sorry for interrupting the video, but I've got you a 10% discount code of anything on the Extreme Rate website. Now they have some amazing products, just like this atomic purple shell for the Nintendo Switch. They also have dock shells, LED light kits, replacement parts, screen protectors, you name it, they've got it. Use code ARG10 to save 10% today. So let's get this kit unboxed and see what you get. So this is the box that Air Dock came in. And as always, it's just a plain brown box. So taking things out, this is the top section of the Air Dock itself. As you can see, it's transparent. Now there's loads of these parts here that come in little bags. We'll have a look at those in a second. So this part here is going to be the bottom of the dock. So inside here we have a few different components. Now this is the main piece that sits inside the dock which basically holds the switch. Then we have another piece here and that's the piece that's actually spring-loaded that has that USB-C connection on. So this is actually one of the back plates. Now it does come with two because you can use it on the original switch or the OLED switch because the OLED has the RJ45 connection for the network. And obviously the original dock doesn't have that. Now this is actually another piece for the carrier for the USB-C connection, the one that goes into the bottom of the switch when you dock it. So here we have the main RGB LED board. Now there's a few ribbon cables connected to this, but if you look at this side, all those dots are basically individually addressable RGBs. So in this next box, we have the relocation USB port kit because basically the USB ports come out of a different side. We want them to come out on the left side. So this kit is basically going to move those ports from the front to the side of the dock. So this part in my hand here will plug into the actual main circuit board and then this ribbon cable will extend those ports to this part here which will be located at the side of the dock. Now next we have the remote control and this is the same one you get with the RGB LED strip kit for the PS5. Then of course we have all the tools you need to do the job. We also have some new springs, some rubber feet to put on the bottom of the dock, stop it sliding around and then a few screws etc. And then last but not least we have the instructions and user manuals. So as you can see, everything you need is in the kit. And the great thing about this is it works for original switches, so your V1s and V2s, and it also works with OLED switches, which is the one that I'm going to be taking apart for my build. So let's get on with that build now. Now this isn't an installation tutorial, so we're going to fast forward the footage. But 
The doc does come with full instructions and on the Extreme Rate website you can also watch the video tutorial. So let's just go over a few things that I found with this kit. First of all, it was quite time consuming. It took me about an hour and a half to get this done from start to finish. And one other thing to note here, you see the remote control that you use? Well, I don't know if you've seen my PS5 video where we added those RGB strips, but this remote is the exact same one. So I guess if you've got the Switch and the PS5 RGB kits, one remote is gonna do both. And the reason I mention this is because I was actually trying to adjust the RGB LEDs on the Switch dock and the PS5 was also going crazy. So apart from that, this dock is really nice and you don't have to go for the RGB if you don't want to. They do it in different colours as well. And don't forget about the 10% discount code off anything on the Extreme Rate website. Just use code ARG10 at the checkout to save 10% today. And if you're new to the ARG channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Retro Gaming and I'll catch you in the next one.